You know, I've been staring at this bird bath for a little while now. See if I can make a house out of it. I got nothing. I don't know. Uh, hello. Well, hello guys. Howdy. How y'all doing? We're here with part three of my Blockburg Strange Builds bird series. This is the last one ever. There's nothing else for me to create out of this mini bird series. I don't know how it got to three parts. I thought I was just going to do like two. We did the bird house and then we did the bird feeder. Now we're doing the bird bath. Now, I don't know whether or not to build a house within the bird bath or put a little house on top of this. I don't know why I'm not including them all on the same plot because they're all related and it would save me some plots. But honestly, I have too many, so I might as well just put them separately. All right. So, yes, this is our inspiration, a bird bath. Now, if I Google bird bath, will there be like really fancy bird baths that I've never seen before? Look at that one. That is majestic right there. That is majestic. It looks fake. It looks so majestic that it looks fake. But honestly, that's crazy. Very spirally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wait, wait. There's a bird bath. Okay, it's like a bird bath, but there's a house for the birds. So let's go and start. Um, oh, I didn't do color code of the day. This is an interesting comment from Arvin. They gave me color code and said, hope you like it. It give it gave me investigator vibes. So is this gonna be like a gray? Or Okay, 105, 102, 92. That really gives me investigator vibes. It does. Wow. Actually, I don't think I've... Have I ever used this color before? So here's my plan for this house. Yes, the base of the bird fountain is kind of like the stand. is very round. We build it out of walls like this, you know? Just like walls, like rounded wall. Maybe just like a little hexagon moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is an octagon. And then we kind of like just raise it up, you know? We just go up a few, a few levels make it life size right now we're nearing the third floor and we have five floors total so if i want a two-story house i would stop here at the third i could obviously do it with basic shapes as well like there's so many ways you could do this like so many techniques to build this but i'm just gonna do this it's all good no problem but now we have like that you know we have the stand going that's pretty pretty good okay and then it kind of like kind of expanded at the bottom here so what if i grab a basic shape you know the convex not the convex it's the uh the vertical cylinder we're gonna place it here and yeah <laughs> Maybe you can transform it a bit and just do this, you know, just it's good. Just a bit of copying and we transform it. I don't think this is going to look too good, but it's okay. Okay. Now we got to fix this side. We got to fix. I don't know. I'm just creating this like bump out at the bottom, like this rounded piece at the, the bottom of it. That's fine. I think that's good. We'll just do that. That's okay. Now we just make like a really rounded top here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can I like dive deep into the bird, the bird bath? Okay. Okay. It's like a bowl. Now we have to make like a bowl. Time to make a bowl, guys. It's time to bowl. We're going bowling. We have to make a bowl. This should not be that difficult though. It should not be difficult. Let's just do this first. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. There we go. We can do that. We can do that. Man, the thumbnail for this is going to be wicked. This is going to be wild. A crazy thumbnail. At this point, I'm bringing the bird bath up here just to get <laughs> to look at it. Okay. We have the base. Shouldn't it like cave in a bit too? How about horizontal wedge? Okay. I think the horizontal wedge could help for sure. Obviously. Okay. Let me actually just mess with one first and then just kind of, you know, maybe I could do something like this. This, this is weird. This is strange. Okay. I'm just experimenting just experimenting gonna place these on all the sides okay i don't know where but we're going somewhere what if we place this in the corner oh oops oops i'm turning nighttime oh <laughs> yeah we could do this oh wait that was so easy that was the easiest way to make like a bowl okay and then we just kind of lower this a bit we just have to blend it we have to blend it we have to blend it like this okay nice this is now our template for all of the other corners they should be the same right they should all be the same like distance and stuff <laughs> am i doing okay i don't know hey that's a bird bowl that's a bird bath a bird bowl that's kind of it you know i i just have to make it cleaner just a little bit cleaner mr clean honestly i make the perfect bird i'd be a great bird because i sound like a crow whenever i scream i sound like a crow i don't know transform it okay that looks fine will i ever get it perfect i have no idea oh Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. How about that? It's not perfect like that, but it's okay. It's all good. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Should I delete this and then have plop this here for now? We're going to transform it and place it here. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea how I'm doing this. And then I floor. Don't question anything I'm doing. Do not question it. All right. No, no, no. We don't question it. We just simply watch and how did I do that? I don't know. Okay. 
Because, like, you know, in the actual bird bath, it's, like, a bit... There's a bit of, like, a... You know, it gets a little bit deeper in the middle like that, right? You see it, right? Oh, I love... Oh, is the water actually moving? Oh, my gosh. No, that's a shadow. I just built a house in this? Or I need, I need to add water. I need to add water. and Something that looks like water now. So I just basic shape the transparent, like, a cube. Okay, a transparent cube. Color blue. And that just looks like water, right? Maybe more... Maybe, like, a semi-transparent one just to give it a bit more darkness. So we'll use a semi-transparent. Make that blue. A, like a delicious blue that makes you want to like drink that water. I'm going to make it um concrete. Because that's like concrete. Yeah, it's like a concrete cloudy gray. Yeah, once you texture it. Ooh, it's good. What is that? Oh, is that no more stick out? Oh, it's sticking out that way now. One moment. Let me um, adjust you a bit. This way and then this way. Perfect. I fixed it. I fixed it and it still looks fine inside. Okay. Not only is this a fun, strange build, it could be educational too. I'm just so education alert. Yeah, we're gonna do the water last. We'll put the water in last, but we have an idea already of what, I mean, obviously it's kind of easy to put water, fake water in. Should I live in this? I could just live in this. It'd just be a really like tower-like house. I might do that. But wouldn't a house inside a bird bath be more fun? That just looks silly, I feel like. Why don't we just build the bird bath and then have the house inside the actual bird bath? I'm gonna just do that. We're changing plans again. I think it's just more fun if we just build the house inside here. I think we might have to use a ladder to get through the levels. Oh, what if we made the top part like a um, rooftop eating area, you know? Like a rooftop eating area? That'd be kind of fun. I'm all for that. And I can still place like things on this shape too. So if I want to like a table, boom, I can get my table on there. Uh, okay, we might have to do something about this overlapping problem. I'm trying to make it look okay. Mm, can we hide this with this thing? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's add some detailing to the bird bath. You know, let's just add some detailing. I'm sure this is some decent one. A traditional bird bath is made of molded concrete or glazed terracotta formed in two pieces. So yeah, concrete was pretty much accurate. It's, it is actually made out of concrete and glazed terracotta. That's crazy. See, oh my gosh, these are some random facts that you didn't think you needed to know, but now you know it. So if anyone asks you, what is the bird bath made out of? Now you'll know it's made out of concrete and glazed terracotta. <laughs> That's good soup. That's good soup before the birds get into it, okay? If the bird- no. Once the birds are in there, nope. Can you imagine- has anyone drinking out of a bird bath before? We're- we're working with an octagon house. I mean, we already did that technically with the bird feeder, but... It might just be like a different room on every floor or something at this point. I think the bottom floor is best to be like a bathroom or something. You know, let's put the bathroom all the way down here. And if you want to get up here, um, can we decorate the top of it first? Hold on, I want to decorate the top of it. I want to decorate it. Should I make it more fancy? Because this is a very traditional bird bath, obviously. If I put like some extra flair to it. That would be more fun. You know, it would be kind of neat. How about some string lights? This, because it ain't a pita bread build without some string lights. And it would be super pretty, you know? It would be super pretty. I'm gonna add these everywhere. And you're gonna be like, wow, that is a beautiful house. How you get into it. And it's very, very simple. Wait, look at it. Look, wow. It looks like a museum piece. It looks like it belongs in a museum. One day people will remember this. I'll be remembered by this, right? Just a bird bath house. I don't know what else I would put up here. Like, how would you get up here in the first place? Should I surround the bird bath with some trees too? Like, the biggest tree we have in this game is the, the large organic tree. But that's that's it. I don't think... Can you enlarge? Can you large? Oh, you can make it larger. I don't know. I like creating a little bit of a natural atmosphere with this. <laughs> Do we have birds? We have flamingos. Oh my gosh, we have flamingos. The flamingos should be up here. We have Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. Apparently, I'm gonna cry. How about this one? Okay, you know what? We'll use that one. That one's funny. It has a knife. That's perfect. And you can rescale that one. So it'd be like a big bird. Big bird. Oh my gosh. Wait, I love this. This is best thing ever. This is so weird. This is so strange. This is so strange. Honestly, exterior is pretty much set. That's that's the bird bath. That's a bird bath. Okay, let's make it livable. Finally, let's decorate the ladder going up to up the over these floors. I think it just goes all the way up to each floor, and we have to plan it out. So this this will be a bathroom. 
for sure. I think two by two. Pita Bread only makes two by two bathrooms. Rarely he ever makes anything bigger than a two by two. I'm just gonna cram this bathroom together. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I wanted to make it look decent. We're not trying to. We're not trying to be lazy here. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with a wall shower again. We're gonna have to deal with a wall shower. No problem with that. What in the world? This kind of reminds me of like a public bathroom, public shower bathroom thing, you know? A strange bathroom for sure, but it, it it's not too bad. It's actually not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. Yeah, we'll just do this. It's made out of concrete. I think the whole interior should just be concrete. We're going we're going throwback, okay? We're going throwback Pita Bread. He, Pita back then loved concrete. He always made things out of concrete and we're, I know the toilet paper is a little bit out there. I think that's kind of bad design. Let me just, how about we just put the toilet paper high up? That's fine. Okay, that's good. I kind of like this bathroom. Wait, hold on. Let me make the bathroom out of tiles. <laughs> eh, how about everything tile? I'll just put the tiles here. Oh, and I'm going to put a shelf. I'm going to do a little bit of, not custom really. I'm just going to put a shelf here for like shampoo and such. Toothpaste there, toothbrush. I don't know. I'm just going to put a soap bar there. I don't use soap bars. That's a, that's okay. Standard bathroom still, but at least it's got a little bit more of a shape to it. It's kind of got this diagonal here, you know, two. So that's the bathroom done. We have our bathroom. Yay. Okay. What is this area gonna be? This is, I guess, our entryway, kind of like our foyer. Like, where's the front door? Hold on, wait, I don't have a front door. So I'm gonna use a secret door for this. So we can type in secret and then grab one of these doors and maybe we'll just place it here and just copy the colors and textures. I won't even know how to get out of this house. Just kidding, I my mind. But that's the secret door, can barely notice it, yes. I guess this is kind of like the foyer, right? It's kind of like our foyer entryway. Welcome carpet to welcome myself. This is a good reminder of the door right here. Okay, there's our carpet. We can grab like the coat racks and stuff. The plant here too, I'll admit it. I know, I know, I always do it. I always do it. It's the famous bamboo plant. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, I, I don't think that's terrible. I wish you could actually change the decals within build mode. I hope, okay, that would be a good little update to be able to like click on a painting and then be able to change the decal because the reason why I'm lazy with decals is because I have to go and change it in the house like there should be two ways to change your decals like they can keep where you can you know actually go in there with your character and change the decal but I hope they add one for build mode too that'd be kind of cool I hope they do that what's the next level we have two more levels to work with um so we have our bathroom and our entry now the next floor could be the kitchen I think and then the top one could be the bedroom I think that's our plan Industrial nightstands as like a mini mini table. They can grab like an ottoman or something. <laughs> I don't know. A stool? You think I can fit a stool? That is not, no. I think I'm using an ottoman. An ottoman is the best chair for these. We'll just make like a mini couch. You know, it's kind of like a booth. That's pretty good, right? Uh, a little bit in the way of a, the, the sink, but yeah, this is silly. I should have this tiles too. It's still a hazard to sit here. Imagine you just like fall over and you fall down there. Mm. That's our kitchen. That's our kitchen. That's a solid kitchen right there. All right, bathroom, entry, ba uh, kitchen. Now we need to make the bedroom. Perfect. And maybe add a little office here too. Fence guard railing. I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna add a, like a railing thing here so we don't. Yeah. Safety precaution. All right. There's no space. What do you want me to do? There's no space. How about we have two like closet thingies right there and then we just put like a shelf a shelf above right here get a little thing going here that's actually that's kind of cozy this is kind of cozy okay you know that's a bedroom i'm done i quit i'm over it i didn't even change much of my bed hold on let me just put a texture on that perfect i'll set carpet nah i don't think everything needs a carpet no 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 we're all good okay guys i am done okay wait wait, wait. let me figure out how to get up here this is why I wish we had like um, some sort of, um, you know, trap door. A trap door would be great. You know, a door within the ground that you can open and close. Cause then you can like, like have like a little secret hatch or like it's called a hatch, I guess. A trap door or a hatch would be fun to just put right there and you can like open it up and get to the top or something. That'd be, that'd be kind of the best. How do you get up here? I'm going to put another tree and then we're going to climb that tree to get to, to this. Okay. I think that's the goal. All right, guys. Hold on. Let me do this real quick and then we'll tour. <laughs> <gasps> I did it. Okay, all right, it works. Play test working. Okay, guys, our bird bath house is finally complete. Here is the final. Now on the top, we have ourselves just kind of like a rooftop eating. Honestly, I could have made this a lot nicer looking. Maybe chose a different table with some chairs. But I decided to go like a family picnic 
type of route and um it is very friendly you have flamingos you have a bird that's kind of that's a knife because it's gonna cook some some hamburgers yeah it's, the knife is for the food here's a 360 moment i surround it with trees again it's not that bad it's kind of cool it looks like a bird bath so we'll go up there first let's go to Let's go to the top first and then we'll in, we'll enter the inside of the house. Food area. You have to climb the ladder. You kind of have to aim a little bit to the right. Go up a bit and then kind of jump off. I did it the first time the other time. Okay. Just, it's kind of an obby moment. It's kind of fun. Interactive. Then you jump on the tree. Then you jump on the rooftop. Very nice. And here's our friends. Okay, here's our friends. We're on water. We are walking on water. And we're all ready for a feast. Okay. I think it's right here. Yeah. Oh, here's our secret door. And here is... That's a floating light. Okay, don't worry about it. This is our entry foyer area. I actually kind of like this. I really do. I like the colors and stuff, I think. And then we have our bathroom here, first of all. Our first room. It actually is kind of nice. I like it. I enjoy it very much. It works perfectly fine. You might splash a bit of water on your sink. And if we go up this ladder, we will enter the kitchen, which is fully functional as well. It's just kind of more of like a, you know, it's a, it's a wall kitchen because it's all over these walls. And then we have a mini, a mini, <laughs> why say that? We have a mini um, eating area, mini dining table, very mini. And it works perfectly, okay? If you want some food here, you can eat the food here. And then if we go to the, ooh, if we go to the top floor, this is our bedroom, okay? Kind of cozy cramp, but you got your bed. I didn't add much in that shelf, I'm so sorry. But we also have our dresser and a mini office space. And yeah, that's pretty much the house. But that wraps up today's block work episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, inspiring, or silly in a way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Hey guys, okay, for anyone looking for inspiration or motivation, if I can build a house you know, within a bird bath. You can do anything, all right? You can do anything in this game if you put your mind to it. 